Hello, Odoers, and welcome back. Every morning, I struggle with putting on identical socks, and it seems like Steve in our warehouse has a similar issue picking identical products for customer orders. That's where removal strategies come into play. Today, we'll explore a couple of different removal strategies. First in, first out, aka FIFO, and last in, first out, aka LIFO. These methods, based on the dates that products arrive in the warehouse, are set up on the product category or location. FIFO is useful when we don't want products sitting in the storage for too long, so we'll deliver the first unit that entered our stock. LIFO is the opposite and is used to deliver the unit that arrived in the stock most recently. But enough chit chat, let me show you how to set up FIFO and LIFO removal strategies and how to use them to make sure the right products are rotated out. To use removal strategies, We'll first need to enable lots and serial numbers by going to the configuration subheading and clicking on settings. Then we'll scroll down to the traceability section in the middle and make sure that lots and serial numbers are enabled. In case you didn't already know, lots are used to track product information like arrival dates for all products within a specific group or lot. Serial numbers are used for the same reason, but each number only tracks a single product. We can either use lots or serial numbers when configuring removal strategies. But for this video, we'll be using lots as an example. Okay, let's scroll down a little bit more to the warehouse section. Here we need to make sure that storage locations and multi-step routes are enabled. Storage locations allow us to store products in specific locations in our warehouse and set a removal strategy for each location. The multi-step routes feature provides more options for how products are moved around our warehouse, like setting a removal strategy, for example. We don't need to do this to use removal strategies on product categories, but I'll be showing you the locations method first, so we'll need to have them turned on. Don't worry, it'll make sense in a minute. Okay, now I have to ensure the products used in the flows are tracked by lots. Doing so will allow us to track when products arrive in our inventory. To do that, I'll go to the products menu at the top, click on products, and then select the standing desk. If you look at the product category field, you'll see that we'll be using the large furniture category in our flow today. Next, we'll go under the inventory tab and under the traceability heading, we'll make sure that we have buy lots enabled. Okay, so I accepted some shipments off screen, so let's go see what desks and lot numbers we have by going to the product subheading and selecting lots slash serial numbers. From here, we'll click the drop down for the standing desk to see all three lots we've assigned to the product. The created on column shows the lot creation date, which is essentially the arrival date. So I'll go ahead and refer to these as arrival dates. Looking at this field, we can tell that the standing desk from lot one arrived first and the ones from lot three arrived last. So, oh doers, if the standing desk removal strategy is FIFO, items from lot one will be picked first. On the other hand, when using the LIFO removal strategy, items from lot three are picked first. Alrighty, now that our lots are set up, let's get the removal strategy set up too. Removal strategies can be configured on either the location or the product category. So let's start by setting a strategy on a location. Now, let's say we're storing our standing desks in a spot near the window. I want to use the FIFO removal strategy to make sure the products that entered our inventory first are packed up and chipped out first before they get dusty. To do that, we'll navigate to the storage location shelf F by going to the configuration subheading and clicking on locations. Then I'll choose shelf F from my list of storage locations. Then I'll go to the removal strategy field here at the bottom and choose FIFO. All done, let's go ahead and save this. Now all the delivery orders for products stored in shelf F are picked using FIFO. With our setup out of the way, Let's start selling and see how products are automatically chosen for us. Let's go back to the dashboard and into the sales app. And let's click new to create a new quotation. And let's say our customer 
Jim Halpert, wants to buy standing desks for his home office, and he'll be needing two. Okay, let's go ahead and confirm the quote and click the Delivery Smart button at the top. On the Delivery Forms Operations tab, in the Quantity field, we can see that two standing desks are automatically reserved from the stock. When I click on the hamburger icon, the Stock Move pop-up window tells me exactly which lot number is selected from this Pick From field. So because we only have one standing desk from Lot 1 left, Another desk from lot 2 is reserved because it is the second newest option. Pretty cool, right? And that's the FIFO removal strategy, folks. Let's take a look at LIFO. This time, let's set the removal strategy on a product category, meaning all products within that category will have the strategy applied to them. Before we move on, though, I want to mention that strategies set on product categories override strategies set on locations. So be sure to keep that in mind. Alrighty, now let's say we've decided it would be better to use the LIFO strategy for large furniture items like our standing desk. However, we still want to keep using the FIFO strategy for the rest of the items on shelf F. To override the location's removal strategy, we can set a force removal strategy on the product category. To do that, we'll go to the configuration subheading and go to product categories. From here, we'll select the large furniture product category. This product category is for the standing desk. Remember, right? Of course you do. Then in the force removal strategy field, let's select LIFO. With that in place, let's create a sales order to show how the product arriving in last in our warehouse gets picked first. Remember, the desks in lot three were delivered most recently. To do that, I'll go back to the dashboard and go into the sales app and click new. On the quotation, we'll set our customer to Deco Addict. And let's say they'd like to purchase one standing desk. Let's confirm the quote and click the delivery smart button at the top. When I click on the hamburger icon, we can see that the desk was reserved from lot three, just like how we wanted doesn't get much easier than that, Odoers. And there you have it. With some simple setup, you can get products off the shelves properly using the removal strategy of your choice. For more information on the three other removal strategies, check out our future videos. See you next time.